So this is the bathroom and this is my ceiling basically almost seven, eight weeks from the time that it collapsed. So as you can see, I've got exposed beams. I can actually see my neighbor's bathroom floor and I've got no electricity in this bathroom and I'm still having to bath as it is at the moment, which is nowhere near ideal and I don't feel very safe at all. So this is just um, a folder that I kind of keep of all the disrepair that's been going on in the property. And this is the bathroom, literally just before um, the issue with the ceiling where I had mold and damp and actually fungus growing in the bathroom. And this was literally growing almost like on a weekly basis. I'd have to literally be scraping the fungus off the walls because obviously I can't be breathing that in, it's toxic. And then on top of that, Part of the reason why I was in hospital as well is literally because I've actually got chronic tonsillitis because of the damp and the mold that happened previously. So it's bringing on all these additional health issues, which is not good. It was quite annoying because when I made that first phone call, the person, I did explain to the lady, this is gonna happen. And I literally just felt I was so dismissed. There was no care, there was no empathy to what was actually going on. And I find that this is a reoccurring thing with Hyde, where I don't feel like they actually listen to some of the problems that the residents actually have. So what I'd like to ask the housing panel is how they're actually gonna be looking after their existing housing stock, because a property is more than just providing a roof for somebody, it's more than just windows and doors. It's actually their interior as well as their exterior. So I would really just like to find out what they're actually doing in terms of looking after what is existing rather than the new, because we also need to remember the existing properties.